Scientists for two decades tried to understand how supermassive black holes, billions of times heavier than the Sun, appeared in the early universe during the first billion years after the Big Bang. A new study shows that a mysterious dark matter was involved in their birth. It created streams of cold gas from which the first giant stars appeared, and after their death, the first supermassive black holes. It is noted that to appear supermassive black hole with a mass of 100,000 solar masses, it is necessary that a huge star with a mass of 100,000 solar masses died. For the past 20 years, scientists are trying to figure out what was the basis for the creation of such a huge star and, eventually, a huge black hole. New computer simulations by scientists show that the appearance of the first giant black holes in the universe was not without the involvement of mysterious dark matter. In our universe, in addition to ordinary matter, there is about 25% dark matter, but we do not yet know exactly what it is, but it affects the evolution of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Scientists believe that in the earliest universe, dark matter was compressed by its gravity into long cosmic strands and pulled ordinary matter into them as well. As a result, a web of these threads appeared in the cosmos, which intersected each other at specific intersection points. Stars and galaxies were created within these threads, and especially many of them appeared at the intersection points of the threads where there was a lot of ordinary matter. In addition, scientists believe that for a huge star in the early universe and then a supermassive black hole to appear, the halo must grow to enormous sizes under special conditions. There must be no other stars nearby, and the gas must remain cold so that its flows cannot form a star for a long time until its volume reaches a huge size and a giant star will result. When the star died, it became a supermassive black hole, which increased in size due to the enormous volume of surrounding gas absorbed. By putting together all the right components in the new model, scientists found that the cold gas streams in the halo formed two huge stars, one with a mass of 31,000 solar masses and the other with a mass of 40,000 solar masses. But scientists admit that this is only a computer simulation, and it would be very nice to see confirmation of the formation of such a black hole in the early universe. And the Webb Space Telescope can help. This telescope is supposed to be able to observe the appearance of black holes as early as one or two million years after the Big Bang. 